morning, good morning. Good morning, 9.15. Let's get ready. You need gloves. Of course, I have my wraps already before. Then I'm gonna put the gloves on, but if you have long wraps, wrap your hands. Now is the time, now it's the time, right? So bag if you have, if you do not have the bag, you can use a very light dumbbells, guys. Very light. We're talking about two, three pounders just to throw the punches, okay? And in the time period when we're gonna be doing the cardio, you don't need to carry them. You're gonna put them down. So that's why we're using very light dumbbells for speed. Good morning. Make comments here. Make comments on the breaks only. Obviously, do not take the time to comment throughout the session on the breaks only. We're gonna have a nice long round and you're gonna see how this flows. We're gonna have a set of exercises. Set exercise for a minute and then we're gonna go for a minute of cardio. Then we're gonna switch things around. We're gonna do the same kind of combos, a little switched with other parts of the exercise and that's how we're gonna flow. So good morning, I see Donna, Sam, this is great. All right, let's get ready. We have still two minutes, so now is the time. You see my bag is behind me. I have my wraps and I am ready, but we're gonna give exactly two minutes and start on time. So if you, if you already stretched out, that's good. You're gonna do another stretching because that's what I'm doing throughout the session. We started with an active warm up, reminding about the punches and getting ready. So what I did before I started myself, I always do use the stretch strap. That's the one that we've had at the gym. If you've never had a chance to really come to the gym and you only virtually, I can post a picture later. There is There are a few that are available. Nowadays they make them, we had in the gym the green ones, but nowadays they make those stretchy ones. And I love this one because it gives you like a better even range of motion. Good morning, Barbara. So stretch before the session. Those regular stretches of hamstrings, calves, rotation with your hips. This is very good. It only will help you, okay? So, and I am wondering how is everybody doing today? We have one minute to go. How are we doing? I hope you're starting this week great, that you had a great weekend and that you enjoy yourself with your family. And now is a work, right? Work time, work time. All right, so let's start just lightly warming up the shoulders. We're gonna be going back and forth. Make sure you see me good. You can make comments right now before we're gonna start. And let's do this. So wrap your hands again. For those of you who didn't wrap their hands, make sure you're wrapping your hands. Big rotation, big circles with your arms. Lisa, good morning. Good morning, Lisa. We're gonna incorporate some active stretch. I'm missing someone today. You know who this, who this person is? It's my buddy Tyson. <laughs> Tyson is missing today. But I am going to see you two times today. For those of you who are working out twice, the Zoom is later. So Zoom, let's do this big circle forward. Zoom is later of strength and I'm gonna post the information for later. All right, big circles as you're doing a little side to side hit. Rotation, like this, side to side, okay? So you can go boom, 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 getting synchronized with the hips, okay? Now we're just gonna do the hip circles. Look, hip circles to your left, nice and wide, hip circles to your right. And now remember, with Facebook, <clears throat> it's a follow along workout, so you do not stop. I might be explaining something to you now to the right we go, right? I might be explaining something to you, but you are not stopping unless I'm gonna tell you if we have 15 seconds break. Now go to the left one more time. Now look, upper body stays straight. Now you're doing just the circles with your hips. Now one more time to the right. I will tell you where is the break, okay? Let's set the rules here. Otherwise we're punching or we're doing other exercise. Very good. Let's do reach down towards the floor, deep breath in and exhale. And again, inhale and exhale. One more time, back is straight, 
and up, open up your shoulders, one more time, deep breath in, and exhale, hands should be wrapped already, I see a bunch of you coming up, Josephine, Christine, Edu, Susan, awesome, Ronnie, very good, Cyrus, awesome, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this, all right, let's do this, so I still will have my wraps, wrap your hands for shadow boxing, we're gonna go over with the punches, so remember, Facebook shows the opposite. This is my left. My left leg is forward. My right leg is slightly to the side. This is a staggered stand position. Your feet should not be in line. They should be exactly like this, okay? So light on your feet. You're gonna start with just the jab. So jab is your left if you are righty. If you are lefty, you would have to do everything the opposite. Your right leg would be forward and your left leg would be behind. But it's up to you if you either follow or switch. So if you're righty like me, your right hand is dominant, you're doing a left jab, bang, straight from the chair. So you're bouncing around, you're doing a little shuffle here, shifting the weight, bang, and punch, and punch. So remember, non-stop, you're not waiting, you're doing this exercise with me, okay? So when you're punching, don't just jump, just punch and reset, okay? Snap, accelerate, return. The other hand stays at your face, right there, protecting the chin, the face. Those are, today we'll have four punch combos, nice and easy. Remember, turn your hand, bam, like this. All right, let's go over those. This is your jab, this is number one. Remember the numbers. Number two is a cross, all right, a cross. So it comes across the body, right there. You're pivoting shoulder, hip, and your toe, that's very important. So you're powering up the punch. Don't go just like this. Don't shift the weight like that. Turn, turn, turn on two. The other hand stays in. Remember, elbows are tucked in. So bam, snap, and look. You can go a little shuffle, shuffle back. If you have a space at your house, you can go lateral, lateral shuffle. You can go shuffle forward. You throw just a single punch. You're training right now, you're warming up. Shadow boxing is to warm up, to get an idea of the punch, learn the punches, and that's why they should be always performed before the punch. You're not starting on the back ever. Everything is in the shadow box right now. You should not have the dumbbells with your hands. It's just, just body weight right now, okay? Let's combine, one, two, jab and cross, jab and cross. Stay light on your feet. Remember, even if you are at home, yeah, I'm not seeing you, you do not punch the back. We gotta warm up first, okay? One, two, jab and cross. Bam, bam. Look, bam, bam. That's how the sound is. Bam, bam. Full arm extension. Each punch comes out with a breathe out. You would be wearing the guard inside. That's how you would be breathing. Shifting the weight. You see how my jab is not pivoting? But my cross is. One hand returns. One hand, one hand is punching. Don't separate them. Don't do one and then two. One, two. One returns. One punch. Good. One more. Full jacks. Arms and legs. Full jumping jacks. Look. Full range of motion, right here. How are you jumping? You're jumping on the ball of your feet. You can't add your arms, this is too much for you. You're just jumping here. You cannot do a full jack, look, that's a modification. I'm just showing modification. You all right guys, you're not stopping. You're not stopping. I'm just showing you a modification, easier version of it. Other than that, you are jumping. And time, let's stretch those calves. Calves can be stretched at the back if you have it at home. How do you stretch your calves? Toes are up, heel is down, lean forward. You can stretch against the furniture, you can stretch against the wall. Find a surface that you can do that. Pull yourself in and feel that stretch, okay? Feel it, feel it in your legs. Do one more time, right leg. There you go, stretch, feel it and do left. With boxing, there is a lot of calves involved because you're jumping around. 
Back to the stance, hands are up, left hook, bend, let's learn it, left hook, left hook. So elbow is now parallel. You see how my elbow is parallel? You see how I'm turning my hip? The whole hip is going. But I'm still looking straight ahead. So on the back, I'm still here. I'm not gonna be turning myself around. But I'm landing on the right leg. So this is the finish right there. Learn this properly. Let's go over right hook. Those are easy. Now right leg is pivoting. Look, I'm still looking forward. So don't turn and look the opposite direction. Opponent is in front of you. Again, elbow is up. If you punch that way, either or, you can go this way, you can go that way. It's up to you. Let's go three, four. Ready? Three, four. And it's the same idea. I'm shifting the weight. I am not going three and four. No. And reset. And reset. And reset. And reset. Bam, bam. Bam, bam, like this. Bam, bam, one more. Bam, bam, one, two, three, four. We're putting it together. One, two, three, four. Say again. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Shifting the weight, it's a dance. That's what it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Keep those numbers in your head, whatever flows. You can keep on saying to yourself. Just remember, when you say things out loud, first of all, your workout will be even harder. You have to coordinate your breath with the punches. One more. Let's go over the uppers. But before we're gonna do this, we're gonna go front and back jumping jacks. Split jacks with your arms like this. So coordinate, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, like this. Go slow first if you cannot get them. Or go first like this. And then add the arms, right? Good range of motion, right here. Some of you cannot jump, what you can do? Just like this, step, step, step. You can go right arm, left leg. You guys are not stopping. I'm showing the notification, we know the rules. We know the rules, we take the break. When I tell you to take the break, exactly how it would be at the gym. Let's do a few more. Slide on your feet. We you gotta still stretch. And time, back to the sense. Show me left upper. Left upper, aiming for the chin. Aiming for the chin, right here. Bam, so how you use it? You use your obliques here. You use up your, your obliques, a little twist, a little turn, and again, shuttle box is boom. You can move around, boom, move around, shuffle forward, boom, like that. Stay light on your feet non-stop. Your heels should be barely touching the floor. You should be flawless with this. You should be light, you should be quiet. For some of you just punching the first time, it's okay. Left upper, like that, breathe out. Remember, breathing out. Breathing out with the punch. That's your five. Remember, that's your five. Good. One more. Nice and easy. Now, number six is your right upper. Look. Right upper. Right upper. And again. Right upper cut. Right upper. Stay light on your feet. Stay light on your feet. Six. Good, nice and loose. Without the dumbbells, remember, this is just a shadow box. The rhythm can be with me, or maybe you go, bam, reset, bam, reset. That's okay, but always reset. Don't go non-stop like this, all right? One more, let's do five, six. Upper, upper, left upper, right upper. And you reset it, the same, one punches, one returns, and they just work. Together. Boom, boom. One, one finishes, one starts. There is no break here. Shh, shh. Again, shh, shh. Light, light, light. Shh, shh. Very good. Shh, shh. Let's put all of them together before we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a seal jump. 
Hands together, feet together. Jump out, jump in, jump out, jump in. Sideways, you see? My, my arms go all the way back there. And that's what I want you to do. You're jumping, you can jump. Now you probably know that you can just easily modify this, right? Stepping to the side, low impact. And then the, this is all good, just like that, right? One more, on both sides, time. Let's do alternating toe touches and let's get those arms going. So we're gonna go across, across, and stretch your arms, the posterior side of your shoulders. Again, deep breath in and exhale. Inhale here and exhale, stretch your shoulders. Now, look how, when your body is warming up, how deeper you can go on these stretches each time, but you need to be intentional about it. You need to feel it. You need to go a little deeper. So you elongate it. Each side might feel different. It's okay. We're not even. We're not totally symmetrical. That, that's why my, one side might feel different than the other. Plus, if you have something with your hips or maybe knees, they, they compensate and they feel different. Stretch. Stretch. Good. Let's do a walking quad stretch, guys. Walking quad stretch towards me, right here, towards the screen, right here. Now step back with your hamstring stretch. How I do the hamstring stretch? Look, I'm sitting back on my leg. Back is straight. I'm reaching towards my toes, but toe has to be up. Do not point your toes. You're not going to stretch your calves and your hamstrings. Back is straight, look straight ahead, reach towards your toes, like this. So when you step back, look what happens. I'm stepping back with my right, left, right is up, and that's how I'm stepping backwards. So let's do this. We were right here, we finished with the quad stretch, right? Now we're gonna go backwards. Reach, stand up straight, reach, stand up straight, reach, stand up straight. Perfect, one more time, quad stretch. Get loose, quad stretch. What stretch, step back. There you go, nice. See how active it is? This is good. All right, time is up. Now you're putting your gloves on, you're putting your gloves on, or what are you doing? Are you getting your dumbbells if you do not have that bag? Now the first, the first combo is one, two, three, two. So let me tell you, one, two, three, two, you know how it goes, now you know the numbers. One, two, three, two for a minute. And then a minute of a squat thrust. All right, so show me one, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. On the back. One, two, three, two. You see how I'm shifting the leg. You guys are already starting on the bag with the dumbbells. I'm getting the clock going because we're gonna go with the clock. I'm gonna be teaching you straight through. There is no break. Preparation is five seconds. Let's do this on the bag and go go 60 seconds one two three two one two three two non-stop non-stop one two three two bam 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 that's the sound one two three two strong bam 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 shifting the weight all six together don't stay in the same you have the bag, you gotta shuffle. If you do not have the, the, the bag, you're doing the same thing in front of the screen with those white dumbbells. You're moving around. You do not stay still. This is a 60 second. Totally concentrate on that motion, on that movement around the house. I want you to go into the zone of that whole hour. There is nothing else that should bother you. And you should think of just the punches. That's it. Stay with me. We have about a few seconds. You hear that sound? That's 15 seconds. You're stretching. Why 15 seconds? Because when you go all out in a minute, see my heart rate went up? You should be going all out. Squat thrust. Full squat thrust. Squat down. Jump out. Jump back in. Stand up straight. Squat. Jump out. Jump back in. Stand up straight. You can't do squatters, you're walking your feet, walking them back in, outside of your hands, standing up straight. That's a sideways 
position. One leg at a time. I'm just showing you a modification. If not, we bless it. We're gonna add that push up later. For those of you who want it, keep your head up on that squat. Jump out, jump back in. Go with speed, go with strength. Go as fast as you can. Use your quads, use your hamstrings, use your glutes. Tighten up on that, on that full plank position when you're ending up. Hands underneath your shoulders. Do not stop. Yes, it can be hard, but we're gonna get through this. Together. See how I didn't cut it? Short, I was down, already was beeping, I'm staying. What are you doing at 15 seconds break? You're stretching. We're going two, three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. Again. Two, three, two, one. Link them together. Two, three, two, one. And reset. Two, three, two, one. And reset. Bam, 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 bam. Nice and easy. Two, three, two, one. What is it? Right cross. Left hook. Right cross. And jab. Again. Light on your feet. You move it around the house. You do not have the bag. With those leg dumbbells, your dumbbells should not be like 10 pounds. Absolutely not. You're doing it in a shadow boxing. That is a speed. Light on your feet. Full arm extension. That left hook guy shift that weight. Again. Stay loose, breathe. We're going mountain climbers for a minute. Yes, a minute. You can stretch your calves. We stay in a high place position. One leg is forward and you're jumping. Look, you're jumping on the ball of your foot right here. Boom, boom, boom. Those knees are high. Whew. Try to keep your hips stable. You can't do that. You can go knee tuck, knee tuck. You're starting, or you can go maybe four of them and go slow, resetting yourself with one leg at a time. If you can't, last them through high intensity here. Yes, jump, hands in line with your shoulders. We are blasting through those mountain climbers. I know your arms, right? Yes, that's normal. We're getting up on that sound. Whew. Breathe out. Stretch your arms. Because we're going three, four, five, four. Three, four, five, four. Four, again, hook, hook, upper hook, left hook, right hook, left, upper, right hook. Again, left hook, right hook, left, upper, right hook. Back or dumbbell. Remember, you do not have the bag. Now, you are with your dumbbells. You don't have the dumbbells. You're doing, squeezing those hands and you're blasting through these punches, shadow box. If you're gonna go fast enough, you don't need the bag, but squeeze your hands inside of those gloves, those gloves okay? You're gonna have an amazing workout. You don't really need the bag to sweat, to get out of breath. Trust me on this one. Loose, stretch, breathe, into the nose, out through the mouth. Crawl out, push up. Feet are wider on the crawl up, you squat it. You're crawling yourself out, push up, all the way down, crawl back in, stand up straight or jump. Quick hands to a high plank position, crawl, push up, crawl back in, stand up. But look, I am squatting low, I'm walking my hands up. 
all the way to a high plank position, back is straight. Crawl then back in, stand up, can do push up. You're still trying. There's no such a thing as not doing it. We are all going for that push up. All right, all of us, crawl up, strong push up. Crawl back in, stand up straight. Back is straight, abs are tight, glutes are tight. Strong, powerful legs. Take your time. I'm sweating already. Ah. Shift, shift, shift the weight. What we're doing, like stretching quads, right? I can stretch, maybe shoulders. Four, five, four, three, coming up. Four, five, four, five, four, three. Do you see the pattern? Four, five, four, three. First we go forward in the first punch combo and then we reverse it. Four, five, four, three. Right hook, left upper, right hook, left hook. Right hook, left upper, right hook, left hook. And a bag or the dumbbells. Shifting the weight. We turn those hands towards the chin, towards the face. Pivot on your legs, guys. This is a lot of pivoting here. You have to pivot. Your whole body has to pivot here. here. Bam, 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 bam. Go a little faster and a little stronger. Don't wait for the clock. I know that you're doing it. Breathe. You should be out of breath. What are we doing? High plank jacks. High plank jacks, high plank position. Feet will be jumping out and jumping back in. Now here, you're squeezing your glutes. You cannot do that. Look, you're stepping one foot at a time. One foot at a time. Like this, if you can't jump. If you can't jump, you're bracing your abs. Hands underneath your shoulders. Do not lock and hyperextend your arms. They should be slightly bent. You do not remove your gloves too. Don't you dare remove gloves in this workout unless I will tell you that you can grab a drink. Jump on the ball of your feet. Stay stiff. Work on your inner thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Back is straight. Shoulder blades tight. Yes, it's hard. Your arms, feeling it. Of course, they should. They totally should. Time, shake them. We're not done. You know that. I told you straight through. What's next? Five, six, one, six. Five, six, one, six. Five, six, one, six. Again. Five, six, one, six. Five, six, one, six. Upper, upper. Jab and right upper. Left upper, right upper. Jab, right upper. Again. Left, right, jab, right upper. Left upper, right upper. Jab, right upper. Right, bam, bam. Your hands are turned. You see how I'm turning? That way, that way, this way, that way. With the dumbbells now, or shadow box if you do not have the bag. Work on those obliques. Turn them. All up. You hear me? How I'm breathing. Breathe. 15 seconds. All out in these rounds. What are we doing? Sit out. Sit out. Sit out. This funky. Now we gotta do this. Look. We're gonna lift our right arm. Go with me. Right arm. Left leg goes under your right leg. You tap the floor and you're returning to your position. Almost looks like a bear. Left arm up. Right leg under. Tap and sit. I'm gonna show you sideways. This is where I am. Right hand on the, off the floor. The moment that the right hand goes, your left leg goes under your right, tap the floor, and return. Left hand up, turn, tap that floor, and return. Let's go a little faster. If you cannot do this, I want you to hold the bear position. Just lift your right arm and make left leg. And then left arm, and then the right leg. Okay, just stay here in that bear position. If you can. 
and twisting. There's always an option. I love sit up. It's an awesome exercise. Up on your feet. Who knows what's next? Six one six five. Opposite. Think about it. Six one six five. Six one six five. Again. Finish six. One jab. Six and five. Right upper jab. Wrap it upper left upper. Let's blast it. Grab those dumbbells or go with a shadow box or hit that bag. You know that flow right now. Six, one, six, five. Six, one, six, five. Link them together. Six, one, six, five. Six, one, six, five. You can repeat them in your head. This will help you. Or right, left, right, left. Still going. Should be hard. Move around there. House. Go to your rooms. You have a small house. You should have me through the loudspeaker or Bluetooth or something. Move around your freaking house. All around it. Whew. Hike like knee tuck jump. Holy smoke, right here. Look, I plank. We jumping in, we jumping out. You can't do that, look. Walk. Alternate your legs. All right? Walk here and walk out. Forward. Hands underneath the shoulders. I'm showing modification. Or if you up to it, you can't do this. Jump in, jump out. Jump in, jump out. Yes, minute is hard. If you punch the bag at the same time, there's a lot of arms, as we know. I'm gonna move a little forward. It's hard, guys. But we stay, we do not stop. If you can't jump, you're gonna switch to the modification or just stay in that plank position. I know, let's go on the go. Fifty seconds break because we finish this whole first straight arm. How are you guys doing? Edo. Oh, nice. I can say hi to Alex, Rosia, Jasmine, Coach Jasmine. Good morning, everybody. Again, where this went? It switched the screen on me or something. Hold on. Where are we? Yeah, it switched the screen. From me scrolling and looking for you guys. 15 seconds. We're going back to the hour punches. You can sip your water. You can sip your water. Hold on and reset itself. Mm. Put your gloves on. First punch combo is one, two, three, two. But then we're doing one squat thrust. One, two, three, two. And one squat thrust. The clock is going. We got to keep the clock. So, if you have the dumbbells now, so listen to this. Either you're gonna be jumping with these light dumbbells, which they are small to support your hands on the floor, or you're gonna blast them through very fast in the shadow boxing. One, two, three, two. Squat thrust, two times. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. And then one squat thrust, okay? Fast, all out, all on the bag, it's up to you. Whatever you have at home. Let's do this, together. Go, one, two, three, two, two times. One squat thrust. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two. Then there is a squat thrust thing at the bag, going to the position with your feet. Two times, one, two, three, two. Squat down, jump out, or walk your feet. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two, two times. You can walk your squat thrust if you cannot jump. You cannot go with a squat thrust. You can always just squat down. Two times. Squat thrust. Again. Squat thrust. Again, back to the stance. 
and straight when you're jumping out. Hold that position with your back right here. That's the moment that you gotta squeeze your glutes and your ass. 15 seconds, back to the 15 seconds now. Regulate your breathing into the nose, out to the mouth. Now we know it, it's two, three, two, one, four mountain climbers, the same idea. Two, three, two, one, twice. Two, three, two, one, twice. And then four mountain climbers, right here. One, two, three, four. Legs forward, reset. Back to the half a squat, back to the stance, right? Again, two, three, two, one. Cross, left hook, cross, jab. Cross, left hook, cross, jab. And then jumping out. One, two, three, four. Reset, up, and punch. Two, three, two, one. Twice. Two, three, two, one. Move around. Four knuckle climbers, go fast. Keep that combo in your head. Two times. Squatters, jumping out. And doing one, two, three, four knuckle climbers. Jumping up. Two, three, two, one. Remember. Two times. Ah. Always on that sound, you're stopping. You hear me? Probably do. There's no stopping before the sound. What are we doing now? We're doing three, four, five, four, and crawl up. Three, four, we know this. Three, four, five, four, twice. Three, four, five, four, and then what? And crawl up to push up. Just one crawl up, back to punch combo. Three, four, five, four. Three, four, five, four. Left hook, right hook, left upper, right hook. Three, four, five, four. And you cross to the bag, stay diagonal to the bag, crawl up, do a push up. Three, four, five, four, twice, remember. You do not stop. I'm explaining, if I have to stop, I will stop and explain. You're going. Shift the weight, stay light on your feet. Full crawl out, full push up. Back to the position. Three, four, five, four, twice. Ah. Yes. Three, four, five, four. Three, four, five, four. Crawl out. Stretch your calves if they step. Feeling tight. It's okay. We're going four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. And we have a sit out. Four, five, four, three. Right hook, left upper, right hook, left hook. And then a sit out. Just one sit out. So when you're here, boom. If you cannot do this, what are you supposed to be doing? Bear and lift your arm, maybe a leg. Lift your arm and maybe your leg. All right, you can have to sit up. Three, four, five, four. Let's do this. Sit out with me. One sit out, one combo punch. Two times. You can do a squat thrust and then from that squat thrust, you're doing a sit up position. Four, five, four. Strong sit up. Twist your shoulder. Tap the toe to the floor. Bang. Good. All right. We have what we have next. We have four, five, four, three. Right? Four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. What's next? High plank jacks. Four, five, four, three, and then high plank jacks again. Four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. Keep those numbers in your head. And high plank jacks, you're jumping out, you're doing two times. High plank jacks, jumping back in. Again, four, five, four, three, two times. Right at that bed, you're doing two jacks. You're coming up, stands. Then bam, bam, two jacks. Four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. Again, four, five, four, three. Keep those numbers in your head. Because sometimes your hands want to fly a different direction. Trust me, it just happened to me. 
because that's how it is. Your brain tells you something different because that's what it wants to do. All right, what's next? Five, six, one, six. Five, six, one, six. What did we miss? Five, six, one, six. High plank knee back jumps. Five, six, one, six. Five, six, one, six. We know this combo. Five, six, one, six. Two high plank knee tuck jump like this. Keep on going. Five, six, one, six. Keep on going. Trying to see what are we? Okay, five, six, one, six. Five, six, one, six. Two times. High plank, knee tuck, jump. Keep on going. Keep on going. Five, six, one, six. Let's go 25 seconds. Five, six, one, six. Two times. Then you go and do a high plank position. Knee tuck jumps for two. Because you learned this before. Now you know how to do it. Upper, upper, straight, right, upper. Left, right, left, right. Two times. All right, we're finishing off with one, six, one, six, five. And four high knees in place just to finish off. Six, one, six, five. Six, one, six, one, six, five. Again, upper, jab, right upper, left upper. Again, right upper, jab, right upper, left upper. Six, one, six, five, pumping those four high knees. You can do that, you raise your leg just like this. Six, six, one, six, five. Six, one, six, five, again, two times. And you're pumping those legs, you're going on your own. Don't wait for me. Sometimes I stop to show modifications. I slow it down to show you the movement. But you guys got it. So you're going, because a lot of people will be watching these sessions, they need to know. Six, one, six, five. Six, one, six, five. We have 11 seconds. You blast it through those mountain climb, those high knees, right here, standing, right? Three, two, one. Good. Listen up. Remove your gloves for a second. Get some water. Stretch out. Let the club go here. Stretch, drink your pre-workout. Finish off for those of you who are drinking the pre-workouts. You know what I see also? I see a numbers down. <laughs> there was more people here. So where did you guys go? I have a secret camera spying on you. There's no such a thing as entering this room and just checking up. Unless it's a coach, he needs to check on it and remove himself. No excuses, right? No, you're here. You're here. You're staying for the workout. If you started the workout and you think that you got too complicated, too hard, that's why even more you should stay here. All right? Because we cannot just remove the heart from our life. We are stretching right now and you're drinking your pre-workout, you're drinking your BCAA, you're drinking your beverage drink mix, maybe C47, something for hydration because look how we're sweating. This sweat is pouring down from our bodies. You need to replenish it, all right? Awesome, we awesome on time, but now this is what we're gonna do. You know the punches, you know the combinations. We're gonna add some <laughs> other position at the end of the punch. So we're gonna go back to our basic punches. We're gonna add that squat thrust, but we're gonna add some other position on your back. So we're gonna be doing scissors, flabby kicks, knee tucks, and so on, all right? We ready for this? Let's do this. Let's do this. Put your gloves on, get your dumbbells, get your dumbbells in, get set, and let's do this. Preparation, five seconds. I'm turning on the clock. You are going. Remember, one, two, three, two. 
One, two, three, two. You're going all out. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Non stop. Bam, 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 bam. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Don't worry about anything else. You all about punches right now. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, two. Non stop. All out punches. You know these combinations by now. We went through all of them. Jab, cross, hook, straight right. One, two, three, two. I show it to you. You gotta move around with those dumbbells down, down, around the house or you punch in the bag, fall out. So it's that punch, 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 and reset you get shuffle too. You can move around the bag. Breathing up strong. Full arm extension on the straight punches. Hook is arm bend. Get the cross straight. Alright. We're going into a squat thrust. Full push up right now. When I tell you switch, you're gonna switch. Flip over to your back and do flatter kicks. Ready? Go. Squat thrust. Push up. Go. Squat thrust. Push up. Squat thrust. Push up. All the way through. Squat thrust and push up. You can add that jump. Squat thrust. Push up. Add a jump. Why not? Land soft on your heels. For those of you who cannot do that, remember, go into modification. Squat thrust push up. And jump, one more squat thrust push up. Nice, flip on your back. Right away on your back, you're doing flat kicks right here. You're pumping your legs right in here. Legs are straight through the knees. Hands are along your side. Lower back is pinched against the floor. You can't do this. You do one leg at a time. Lift your one leg at a time. If you lift your head and shoulders off the floor, you work more on your upper abs. You can't keep your head and shoulders on the floor. And up. We're getting up. We're going into two, three, two, one. The same idea. Two, three, two, one. On the back or with the dumbbells. Two, three, two, one. You know the combo. Cross, left hook, cross, jab. Two, three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. All four minutes of the punch. Stay present with me. Come to the back. All out. I want you to shift that weight on that cross. Flow. Let it flow with your arms. Bam, 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 bam. Turn, turn. Same idea. Coming up. Almost there. Sound, you can stop. Stretch your legs. What are we doing? Mountain climbers. You're blasting through them. Regular mountain climbers when your feet touching the floor. Then when I say flip, you're gonna do scissors. So you're jumping. Look, right here. We're jumping. You can't do that. What do you do? You're stepping. Those are regular mountain climbers. That both feet have to hit the ground at the same time. I don't want to see this in the air. No. You're hitting. The ground. Bam, 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 bam. Right here. That's how you hit the floor. Back is straight. Go to fifth. Speed. Three, two, one. Flip over. Scissor kicks right here. You're going up and down with the scissors. Legs are straight. Point your toes. So feet go out. Feet crisscross. Like the scissors. You go up and down. Alternate your legs. Sometimes the right leg is above, sometimes the left leg. You can't do this. You can keep them up here. All right, keep them up here. Get up. Up, up, up. Don't look around. Three, four, five, four. We know it. For a minute, with the dumbbells or shadow box around the house, 
three, four, five, four. Hook, hook, upper hook. Left hook, right hook, left upper, right hook. I know sometimes it's what, wait, wait a second, what is it? Bam, bam, let it flow. So it's left, right, left, right. You see the change of direction, boom. Your hands will take over. Three, four, five, four. Three, four, five, four. Stay light on your feet. Bam, 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 bam. Attack mode, that's what it is. Attack mode, that's how you start your day. Think about it. With a session like this, after when you accomplish, you feel like you can conquer your day. You can conquer anything. Each of you will have a different name for the obstacles. We say no excuses. Then say conquer, overcome the obstacles, shake it. What are we doing? You should know by now. Roll up. 30 seconds, I'm gonna say flip over, bridge position. Go, crawl out, push up. I want a little jump here. When you're jumping, I want you to land in the squat position. Okay, push up, all the way down. Target, if you have not been able to do push ups and you've been training for a while, you need to go a little bit deeper. Maybe you are going too low. Flip over. Deeper down towards the floor. Hip, bridge position, arms are up. Hold it there. Arms are up, right here. Heels are in line with your knees. Squeeze your glutes, right here. Squeeze your hamstrings, right here. Heels, squeeze your quads, right here. Abs, right here. Hold it, hold it, but don't hold your breath. Nice, get up. Whew. Where are we? Four, five, four, three. Right hook, left upper, right hook, left hook. Four, five, four, three. It's the opposite, right? It's the opposite. Keep on going. Nicole, Jasmine, Rosia, Alec, Joseph, and Christina, Edu, Susan, Ronnie, Syria, Lisa, Dana, Barbara, Sam, Donna. I told all your names. You better be there. You better be there. Four, five, four, three. Four, five, four, three. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Some of you never tried the punches. Some of you never tried the punches. This is your first time punching today. It's okay, you're gonna learn. It might feel awkward. Maybe your arm feels already tired. It should be. That's how it is. That's normal, keep on going. Four seconds. Three, two, one. I punched for about, I think 14 years right now. In the beginning, the first year, trust me, I thought that I would give up. Sit up, coming up. When I say flip over, we're gonna flip over. Bridge and knee tuck. Ready? Sit up. <whistles> sit up. You are sitting right here. We know our sit up. We know it. We know it. You're turning. You can't do that. What are you doing? You're holding a better position. There, right here. Knees in line with your hips, right here. That's the target. You're gonna lift your right arm, kick your left leg like a donkey. Bam, donkey kick. If not, you are twisting it with me. You're going fast. You're rotating yourself. Boom. One more. On your back. Quickly. Bridge position. We know it. Bridge. Arm is up. Now listen to this. Look. You go down. Right arm is down. You're going to bridge up and do a knee tuck with that right leg. Down. Right arm is overhead. Knee tuck. Tap your right knee to your left hand. Down with the bridge, lift up, tap your right knee, right hand, down, squeeze, there you go, nice, we're going to do the other side the next time, around, we're not done, huh. five, six, one, six, five, six, one, six, we are on uppers, five, six, one, six, now with that upper, 
it's gonna be easier to do it in the air, right? Because you have a full extension. But with the uppercuts, when you're here, you can throw that overhead a little bit. Bam, 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 bam. Five, six, one, six. And it's okay. I want you to blast it through as fast as you can. I want you to go so fast that you're gonna be so out of breath that you would want to leave that session, but you won't. He hate me for this. Come on. Five, six, one, six. It's okay. Bam, 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 bam. Faster. Stronger. You're running around the house with those dumbbells and you're doing shuttle box. You are a warrior. You have a better mindset today than yesterday. You know why? Because you overcome all these obstacles. They come along your way. That's why. If you didn't have that group, if you didn't have these workouts, think about how would you feel. What are we doing? I play jacks. I play jacks. So guys, keep on going. I play jacks. When I tell you to turn, you're turning. And you're doing. Then you tap and your left leg, left, 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 left arm. You know the notifications by now. Look. Yes, your priorities has changed. Yes, they did. But you need to reframe yourself, reboot yourself, and you need to get organized. Do not let flip over the day overpower you. Stop being a consumer. Heads up. Left arm is up, right arm is up right here, left arm is all the way back. You do a knee tuck and you don't you go up and down. Look, hips down, hips up. Like this, squeeze, tap your left hand to your left knee. There you go. Be producer, my friends. Produce today. Produce with the workouts, with your energy, with your leadership and your family. When you talk to your kids, when you set them up right, 6165, when work is work, there is no distractions. 6165, 6165. 6165. Remember that. 6165. Upper straight, wrap or upper left upper. How you guys are doing over there? One more 
minute, all out. We're gonna do this, right? All of us, like a nice finisher. Nice finisher. So what I say by this, this is the finisher. You choose one combo out of all of them. Maybe one, two, three, two. Well, maybe you want a different combo. Whatever, it's in your head, let it fly. All minute, in 14 seconds, you're doing a minute all out. All out, this is our finishing. Seven, six, get ready. Mm -hmm. And you're blasting it through. Go, it's up to you. Maybe you're gonna go one, two, three, two. Maybe you're gonna go all six runs. I don't know, it's up to you. You can let that fly. Maybe you're gonna let it fly your hands for a minute straight. Maybe you wanna add some slips. Maybe some ducks. Some of you have been hunting here for a while. for stretching. Fist bump right here, everybody. I'm waiting for all of you. Go and get me a high five or a fist bump. All right, let's do it on the floor. Listen up. <clears throat> Stretch. Sit in a diamond position. Now, your feet should be touching. Your toes should be touching. I cannot go any farther because of my hip, this is it, what it does to me. So each of us has a range of motion. As you see, my left leg goes down, my right leg doesn't rotate. That's okay, I'm working around this, right? You can push it, because it wouldn't unlock. So you just hold that position as straight as possible. Stay tall. Now we're gonna extend one leg, all right? The other leg comes close. Okay, that's better. All right, reach forward towards your toes. Now with both hands, I want you to really reach your hands. Now, you can't do that. Wrap that bend or something around it so you can pull your leg towards it, literally. Even your long sleeve jacket, something that will pull that leg towards you. You want to flex your toes, okay? Guys, I am pouring sweat, literally. I wonder if you're pouring sweat too. If you're pouring sweat, you need to take a picture and post it on Facebook. Now, post on your page, regular page on Facebook. That's first thing. Because if you post on VIP, switch your legs. You cannot share it outside of VIP. And I want to see your face. So post first on Facebook. Tag me in the 
helps Steve Erwalkert. All right? Make sure that you're checking in into the gym and then share this picture into VIP page. Okay? So we can all see you here. So we can all see who completed this session. Now, here's the thing. If you do this later, you do the same thing. It doesn't matter if you do this 10 days later, somebody will be doing that from the portal later, right? The whole point is to check in each time that you accomplish that session. Finish your task. All right. Touch your toes. Breathe. Deep breath in through your nose, exhale through your legs. I want you to lay down on your back. Lay down on your back. Extend your legs right here. Let the hips sink into the ground. Extend your arms. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Deep breath in through your nose. And exhale through your lips. Now bring your right leg up. Up and out towards the shoulder. Now, we need to stretch. We need to stretch each time. Sometimes I finish my sessions and I didn't do that stretch with you guys. So that's on me. However, yeah, I hope that you did the stretch after because that's what you need to finish the session with, a stretch. Because remember, these muscles contracted. They did that work. Now, how are you going to get that good oxygen towards them? How are you going to get them recover is by stretching, by doing good nutrition, by doing recovery, by drinking your BCAA, and by following your coaches, by following what we teach you here, by doing what you're supposed to be doing. Because remember, we've done it for so long. We've been doing this for so long and, 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 and practicing and training and trying to come up with the best possible option for you. And your option is always a recovery. You have to recover. You have to get, get your hydration. And do not tell me that you take all you eat variety of foods and then the food will, it's enough for you. It's not, and I'm telling you this right now, flip over onto your belly. It's not, your food is unable to give you the nutrition that you need, especially right now. Because let me tell you, when you are under the stress, stay on your forearms. If you're ready, you can take a deep breath in Exhale and drop your hips down, extend through your arms. If you cannot do that, that's fine. Do not push it. Under the stress, your body requires more vitamins. More vitamin C, more vitamin B. Complex of vitamin Bs. Do you know that? Do you know that? That you need to take more now because your body is using it. Your body is fighting the stress that you are under. You might not feel it. Some of you might say, I'm fine. And I feel that too, I'm fine. We are fine here. We are fine and I hope that you are fine too. But in turn, you might not feel it, but it is a stress. There is some kind of discomfort that you're not doing the same things that you've been doing. That you might have a little bit more on your cake. Step forward with your right leg, push your hips forward, nice big step forward, 90 degrees, okay? Now bring your hands behind you, push your chest forward, stretch. We're going over time, but the stretch has to be done. Step forward, nice big step forward. Look how awesome it is now. We can go over time. Maybe I'll go an, an hour and a half of a session one day. You never know. Step forward with your other leg. Step forward, push it. We like to push, but not in stretches. All right? So you need to take your mat. What's mat? Who knows what mat is? Meditation, 10 minutes. Exercise, 14. D for your proper diet. And what will be for S? Supplements. Stretch your calves. Stretch your calves. That's your medication. Exercise daily. Eat healthy. Supplement yourself. And meditate for 10 minutes so your mind will go into a different direction. Awesome job, everybody. We did it so good. Now I want to see what you're eating, all right? So 
10, 15 finish, maybe I want to see what's your post workout. What is your post workout? Are you, are you going to have a second meal or are you going to have a little recovery? If you're making your shake, I want to see what's in it. Donna, Sam, Barbara, Dana, Lisa, and Syria, and Ronnie. Why are you showing me five eyes? And you are guys all in here. What's happening? Thank you so much. You guys did a phenomenal job. I know you did. I know you're sweating. I know you push it hard. This was awesome. Post your meals. And remember, the free week keeps on going. You still can do it. You still can share the link. If you don't have the link, post it on our VIP page and we will get you the link. But you're getting the emails. You're getting the text. You should have this. 21 days is to invite your friends for the gym. And don't forget that I will be doing another video on our page. I already did some that we, I have a weight loss seminar coming up. All right. So stay tuned for this video and I will talk to you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye everybody. Bye Peak Freaks. Bye bye.